those Elysian mysteries have been a mystery all this time because no one ever said what it was and they, they pledged they would. I mean, if people started talking about it, penalty of ostracism, death, you know, serious, secret. Well, um, yeah, uh, <laughs> this show was so useful and enlightening and fun and psychedelic that it went on continuously, nonstop, for 2,300 years. Finally, the Romans conquered these people and knocked all the temples down and changed the uh, matriarchy to a patriarchy. Uh, Apollo peed on the temple of the Oracle of Delphi, a summary of all of Greek history right there. Well, she found out. She, she and a uh, uh, soprano saxophone, her girlfriend, they, they went to Elysius. They hitchhiked there from the Grand Breton Hotel. You'll hear all about this later in uh, these tales. And, uh, yeah, and, and she's flying to Istanbul right now because they agreed when the new moon was in a certain position to rendezvous in Sphinx's penthouse Earth Temple World Headquarters. There used to be a wood shed, but he bought it from King Solomon for $400. Penthouse uh, uh, kiosk with a dome uh, where he lives with Rasta. They became lovers at uh, Matala Caves in Creta. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. Gulhani Hotel, rendezvous to deliver the fruits of her detective work. Mm -hmm. She cracked both cases. Well, with, with sex. Okay. <laughs> flashback within a flashback within a flashback last three weeks huh Safo mm -hmm. sexually carousing on lesbian island <laughs> oh this sounds like fun yeah in Greek island with her lover, soprano sax, and two native Greek lesbian mm, goddesses. Uh, yeah, lesbian outpost just below the tomb of the original Safa. Born here in 630 B.C. Brilliant poetess. Female liberation diva. She wrote her gorgeous poetry to be sung. Allow. Accompanied by a good looking uh, a female, oh, those little silk white robes, huh? No undergarments, Ed Safo's temple. Stroking <laughs> that lucky liar. Oh, the liar. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, this. Yeah, moving fist for the lips. Uh, went on for three weeks. Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, it was polyamorous. Uh, lesbian polyamorous orgies. Polyamorous. Means uh, everybody fucks everybody. Oh, in in front of everybody. Oh, uh, I mean, way more hip. Okay, back in the 1950s in Los Angeles, partner swapping, 
Paseo polyamory. This is a, a sexually uh, sophisticated new age uh, way of relating, you know, beyond the ego. Nobody's uh, feelings get hurt. In theory. Uh, uh, you know, you're really a, a, a tough audience. <laughs> and that's the problem with performance out. It's the audience that's the problem, the issue. Um, so, I think you can handle what comes next because you're strong. You're substantial. You're tough, okay? I'm on your side. I'm your friend, your ally. Perhaps to entertain you. <laughs> um, what happened was, okay, Safo, as you know, she did night boxing and some massage parlor work. And uh, she and Sexy Sax, a phone, they were house-sitting an apartment full of Colombian marijuana in bales. These bales come, you know, burlap, 25 pounds. But if you have um, 20,000 pounds, uh, they only had, you know, about four feet before they hit the ceiling, so they had to burrow through the bales, throw a few bales out, crawl up there like it was a really uh, low attic. That's where she'd play her saxophone nude. While Safo went to work, Fifth Avenue Book Company in the accounting department. Oh yeah, if she's lucky, she could see a bit of greenery over in New Jersey. Um, Mm. Burroughs 5,000 billing machine is like a it's like a devil miniature church organ. Every state has a different sales tax. People are ordering books out of magazines. You got to cut together. She said, fuck that. She wrote, uh, yeah, I'm having a nervous breakdown. I'm terminating my employment with you. <clears throat> I'm hungry. In fact, right now I'm having lunch. So, yeah, I mean, they, uh, you know, let the Colombians know they needed some other sentinels. They caught, back in the day, uh, you could fly from New York City to old San Juan, $99. If you can keep your red eyes open at midnight. Ooh, yeah, well... Midnight flight. And in Viejo San Juan, yeah, I used to live there, so I'm going to like flash out some like micro impersonations. Oh, used to play saxophone there myself under the band tree in front of El Convento Historic Hotel. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. This is where, okay, major. This is as far back as you'll get in a flashback. You're a third of the way through the story now. Congratulations. Uh, they met Sphinx in a Viejo San Juan at a wedding party. Yeah, they followed these people down the street on those cobblestone Viejo San Juan uh, uh, streets and two, and then ended up. Uh, uh, at the luxury uh, phew, pad of uh, drug dealing kingpin Puerto Ricanians. <laughs> oh, fashionable. Candola. Yeah. Calle Suave. The bedazzled women, uh, they witnessed the drug, drug operation like they never saw before in front of their bedazzled. Everywhere there were 80,000 
trips of sunshine, double barrel LSD everywhere. One guy was so stoned, one put the canyon, was so stoned. All he did was run a uh, really good vacuum cleaner over the shag <laughs> because there was so much acid everywhere. Uh, this is based on a true story. Oh. Uh, and then Sphinx, I never met him before, you know, his uh, caftan, a Turkish caftan, and a headdress. Uh, he had, he happened to have 200,000 heads of crystal acid with him from his own laboratory in San Francisco. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was the speciality of this mysterious Egyptian. Oh, um, they all tripped the brains out all night long. It was so fun. I mean, when you're that <laughs> tripped. You take a shower in Puerto Rico and you see these tile works with iguanas and chameleons. And it takes you a long time to get out of those kind of showers if you're that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, um, you might have noticed I'm kind of politically e incorrect once in a while. Well, uh, sh yeah. And frankly, I, I'm just going to tell it like it is, you know. G ethnically, French chicks got small boobs. Yeah. And so, to make up for that, they'll fuck your brains out so good. I ought to know. I married one. Oh, oh, uh, well, what happened was, um, yeah, a, a sphinx bankrolled these chicks to uncover the ancient secrets. Remember? The mosquitoes, they don't care. You know, they're, they're, they're a sympathetic audience. <laughs> uh, hardly have to do anything to get their attention. Yeah, um, okay. Come back. You've done so good. I mean, how proud of you can I be? You went way into the remote territory of the quadruple, reverse, triple, dinger, beyond, quadruple, dinger. You come back. We're, okay. We're back down to the, the triple, and we're working our way to try to get out of here somehow. Uh-oh. Uh, on Les being island. Oh, so good to be back, huh? You get out of there. It's a clusterfuck on the mental plane. Uh, sax. Slender, huh? Like a soprano. Uh falls in love. I mean, she's 17. She falls in love with a French niffette named La Fleur. Oh, she knows where her flower is. That niffette. And um, they split together. Just the two of them. To the hippie caves of Matala. They've got a connection there called Biozone. Oh, well, yeah, Southall reflect Th This French temptress, yeah, so considerably younger than me. I'm 32, she's 16. Well, I am twice as tall as her, so I guess it adds up. Um, her rosy... Baby skin really bothers me. Uh, and her tits, to me, they look dangerously too taut. I mean, skin's got to breathe. Um, 
Well, so Safo is flying to Istanbul. Isn't it good to be getting closer to Istanbul? From Lesbian Island by way of Thessaloniki. Lesbian Island, somewhat remote. They just have a propeller plane there to do the 90 minute up to the mainland. Yeah, a little stole strip there. Uh, yeah, Olympic Airlines, yeah, it's got to be owned by you know who? The lover of omelets, huh? Especially the morning after. Oh, yeah. Princess Diana went for the same. Mm -hmm. Billionaire bling bling. Mm -hmm. Power, all that money power. Mm -hmm. Well, um, okay, she's there. Oh, see, oh, every time we are getting closer. To our home. Hmm. Um, she gets on board um, modern jet aircraft um, Munich to <laughs> Thessaloniki to Istanbul. <sighs> yeah. Um, well, Oh, she's on board. And, uh, well, spontaneously, I mean, okay. <laughs> she panics. She feels she's going nuts. Oh. Um, she should shake, take that first flight back to Lesbian Island, you know, and uh, lick her abandonment, abandonment wounds. Oh, oh, no. By licking... Themesia, well, that's that's Greek honey. <laughs> it's the best grade of honey because it's it's pollinated. The uh, thyme, it's an herb. Blossom. They make honey out of it. The bees, mm, 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 and, then bzz, and then after you get, thank you very much. Um, her girlfriend, her native Greek girlfriend, is named Themesia. So if you Themesia on Themesia. Okay. Um, you lickety split. split. <laughs> With your lips. 